Dude, Will, good to meet you. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. Yes, yeah. yes, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Okay, how did you get started with Fusion? Totally, I kind of came at it, doing it my own way. Uh, I went to school for physics and never really dove into any electronics, any mechanical design besides, you know, entry-level physics. And so everything I learned was really diving into the internet through tutorials online, uh, websites like Hackster, making a lot of mistakes along the way. Uh, at some of the events here, I've learned what I've been doing wrong with bodies versus components. Oh, so yeah. some good learning lessons. Very common can, one, uh, yeah. yeah, make improvements on. I think a great way to learn these things is just find a project you want to do, work towards it, solve the problems yeah. along the way, and you'll inevitably learn whatever it is that you're looking to try yeah, yeah, to yeah. do. Yeah. And you mentioned you make you make tutorials. Yeah, I make some uh, educational content, some project build okay. videos. I learned these things, I now know a few things, so I'd love to share it with others yeah. and give back. I yeah. love that, I think that's that's kind of the more, more genuine ways of being a content creator sure, is giving back yeah, to yeah. the community. Uh, here at uh, Autodesk University, I've been seeing a ton of stuff about the Avnet add-in for yeah. Fusion. As like a independent person, and where you know I'm running into these constraints sometimes where I'm working on an electrical design I run into obsolescent components all the time yeah. and so if I was able to flag that a little bit earlier in my workflow with something like the Avnet app that would help me a lot yeah. in just saving time a bit of frustration as well and money because it's tight right well well thank you so much man Absolutely. glad to talk to you thank you Kachin yeah. yeah Jeremy Jeremy that's right how you doing yeah, so much. thank you so much for coming and bring the guitar yeah thanks this is so awesome you designed this infusion so I designed I it's actually based on the Prusa caster design. That's right. And I printed it out on a Core 1 printer. And I made my own little modifications using Fusion. It's got some holes in here which actually um, allow it to pipe some electronics through. Oh, Designed these in Fusion. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, Very cool. Some little extra add-on planks. So Fusion from the beginning has really been built upon the, its community. And we really value the community of designers, makers, and DIYers. Uh, how can they get involved with Haxter.io? Sure, I mean, you can just sign up for, for an account on Hackster.io. You can uh, make an account, it's free, it's, it's easy. Nice. Um, you can share your designs on there, and then from there you can get feedback and you know see what other people have made and you know, hopefully get your new ideas from that. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, Jeremy, thank you so much, man. I appreciate thank you. talking to you, and yeah. uh, thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely.